this morning, I want us to look into what I titled the effect, the effect of fasting and prayers. We are about to go into the 21 days seeking the face of God and why as a child of God, you must understand why you must pray. I want you to understand this. It is very, very necessary. It is so much important that you begin your year by seeking the face of God. Any man that has a plan without direction, the plan fails. And it takes God to direct his people on what to do so you succeed. In Exodus 34, 28, Moses had to go 40 days and 40 nights before the Lord gave him the commandment that they will follow. So it takes you to go and seek the word of the Lord, to seek the first of God, sorry, so you can understand how the year will look like for you. In this ministry, God has been so much faithful. So much faithful. But here, yeah, our outreaches are brought all over the place. We have not been celebrating that. We don't bury. It's not that we are not going to die. We will die. But we have a covenant that we will not die. Pray, my child. It's not a sin. That is why our covenant scripture, Exodus 23 to 25 and 26. 25 says, I shall bless your waters. That's why everybody will bring water. Make sure the water completes 21 days, starting from tomorrow. He said, I shall bless your water, and sicknesses, affliction shall be taken. Verse 26 says what? And the number of your days I will uphold. There is number God has given to you. So whatever we do here is by God's foundation of this. That's why when you start it, make sure it's complete. If you have a church, learn their doctrine. If it is of God, follow it. You will enjoy the blessings attached to it. Everything that has to do with spiritual, it is by principle. Somebody say principle. You, you, don't, you don't do sentiment. Okay, God will understand. God does not understand. Because in everything that has to do with God, there are laid down principles. Once you miss it up and bring your sentiment, it goes the other way around. Matthew 7, 7 and 8. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8. The Bible says, Ask and thou shalt receive. Seek, you will knock and the door shall be. So God expects you to pray. Seek and to knock. Jesus is not foolish to teach us the way when he went to do the 40 days and 40 nights. The Bible said it was when Jesus came down from the 40 days and 40 nights that the devil came to do what? That the devil came to do what? Thank him. So, once you're coming down from 21 days, does not mean once you come down 21 days that you're buying a new house. Is it like you? It is when you prepare for a war that the war will begin. That's why the Bible says that there shall be trouble. But if there is faith with you, child of God, you will overcome. You will have victory. Thank God that God said this is a year of victory. Can I pray for somebody that can shout amen in the top of his voice? The Lord will give you victory this year. Amen. I say it again. The Lord will give you victory this year. Amen. The Lord shall give you victory this year. Amen. Matthew 6, 16 to 18. Where we read as a Bible reading. When you are fasting, don't act like a hypocrite. There are those who are fasting. When you see them, they behave as if they want to die. Where you want to go, brother? You will show everybody to understand that you want to die. Matthew 6, 16 to 18. How? You want to show everybody that you, you, you're gone. A communication of fasting is between you and who? And God. It is between you and God. So you need to pray in that manner. Communicate with God. Why do you call it fast? Fast means you did not eat. Praying means communication with God. So it is called fasting and what? And prayer. So at that time, you don't remember food. Let me tell you, there are people, once they are fasting, they are looking at the time. Now, nah, this kind of stew, eh? oh, the smell is too wonderful. They pray by 9 a.m. 
they look at time, they say, you mean since that time I pray, 12 never knock. The majority of us, they'll be looking at it. You mean since how many hours I prayed 12? Three has not knocked. He will tell them, did anybody change the battery of this clock? If I said the clock, they go left, left instead of right, right. At that time, what you are doing is what I call hungry strike. No longer a fast. A fast means that you did not test anything. Then prayer means that you communion with God. So it is fasting and out of your belly you cry to him. You didn't remember food nor water. And you say, God, this is my plea for you this year. Just like Matthew chapter 7, 7 and 8 says. He said, knock. I will open. He said, ask. And thou shalt receive. He says, seek. And thou will find. You are expected to seek. Some of you knows that God knows. He told Jeremiah, before I formed thee in your mother's belly, I knew and have anointed you to be a prophet unto nation. Before you became a businessman, God knew. God knew that you've been ordained to become the light in your father's house. God knew that you have become, he has made you a salt of the world. God knew that he will give you money to reign. God knew that he will ordain you to be a president. God knew that he will connect you that men shall feed under you. But you are still expected to ask. You are still expected to knock. For it is the principle that men shall go through. If qualification of things on earth is easier, we that are men of God wouldn't have been praying to ask. Automatically, once you are there to be a man of God, you won't go through troubles. But let me tell you, there is nothing different between you and I because whatever man go trouble on earth, the same person anointed go, this, go through the same trouble. The only difference is that grace are not equal. Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. I am sending you out just like sheep to a pack of wolves. <laughs> uh, so I cherish that old rugged cross to my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged and I change Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as what? Serpent. And harmless as what? God knows there is trouble. He didn't say he is sending you to go and marry. Understand this. He didn't say he's sending you to go and drink wine. He didn't say he's sending you to go and party. But he said, I'm sending you. Then remember that I'm sending you a midst of what? Wolves. Those that will devour you. Those that will attack you. Those that will fight you. Those that will criticize you. Those that will disturb you. Those that will forge evil things against you. Those that will cause sicknesses around you. He said, but as a child of God, be ye under, having this understanding that therefore you shall be wise as what? Serpent. When your father said be wise, he makes you to understand that you should be prayerful. He makes you to understand to use your head. Some people will tell you God understand God and all of them that says that are the ones that fall into troubles. My brother, God knew. He told you already. So you must have to be wise. When somebody did, has done evil against you and come back, he has done first or second time, third time, and he wants to eliminate, eliminate you. Suddenly, the person came back to apologize. One, be wise as a serpent. What do you do? Forgive him. But for you to be wise, you don't restore him back to the office you gave him before. Because the next third chance, you'll be dead. Hello, church. 
I don't know if I'm talking to you this morning. So you must have to understand this principle. And that is why in this season of prayer, be wise. Be wise. Be wise. Second Chronicles chapter 7, 14. Let me hear you. If my people which are called by my name, if my people whom I have called in my name shall humble themselves, if you can humble yourself and pray and do what? Pray. I can't hear you. And do what? Pray. And seek so, my face. Do you know sometimes I even wonder this God? Can you imagine your father is even saying if you can humble yourself and pray? That, that sounds because if it is me, I wouldn't even say my son if you can humble. I would say, my friend, go, 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 go and pray. He said, if you can humble yourself and pray. See, you need to pray. I was listening to, I was listening to some, um, some social media because 80% of social media life is fake. Hello? 80% of social media life is what? Somebody will go to somebody's office and snap picture and post. People will be saying, ha, you're doing well. Why did I mention social media? Don't follow majority of things you hear on social media. Because I was hearing somebody talking about that if you want to succeed this year, it's not all about the prayer. Don't follow the path of the prayer. It's about hard work. Yes, correct. Hard work pays. But let me tell you, <laughs> it is the spiritual that controls. If not, no matter how much you had working, working. If those that struggles are to be the richest, those that carry uh, loads in the marketplace should be the richest. Because those people can struggle. Eh? Sometimes I, I will see somebody carry truck, pack things, pack things. I say, hey, people get strength. I will just be saying in my mind, God, thank you. So if success is by that nature, nobody would have known us. But I discovered that in as much as you walk, crack your brain, invent things, walk on them. My brother, you must have to pray. There is what is called grace. There is what is called favor. When mercy finds you and favor finds you, your labor will not be in vain. You need prayer. You need prayer. So, people advertising you, people on social media, now fake, now fake. It's on social media I discovered that the biggest marriage counselors are divorcees. Hello? The most marital counselors in social media are what? Divorcees. Half of themselves are not married. If you said they will tell you, does he take you to marry before God will give you wisdom? My brother, if God gave you wisdom, you wouldn't have divorced. You would have married your, managed your marriage. No matter how hot the marriage is. You would have found a way. Come it. They will tell me if the man is violating him and beating him. Sorry, beating her. And they will start throwing all sort of question. If you dated a lady or a man, you would have known that he is an angry species. The atom will be there. And you go ahead. Don't worry. Now me, it's me and you people. In, is it ending of February? During marriage and consecration. When I go hear them. When I hear people talk rubbish on marriage, I'll just wave my head. What Bible talked about divorcee is only when you caught your wife sleeping what? That's the only principle that you can divorce your wife. Apart from that, manage her. <laughs> uh, but that's not why we're here. What brought me in that side is when I'm talking about the social media. So please, as they are counseling you that you should not pray. Now lie you, now lie. They are deceiving you. So I continue. 
If my people, which are called by my name, shall uh, humble themselves, if you can humble yourself and pray and pray and seek my face and seek my face and turn from their wicked and ways, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear them from heaven. God say, I will hear you from. I will forgive their sins. It will forgive our sins. I will heal their land. And he will heal our land. Can I prophesy? Oh, yes. Sir. The Lord will heal your land. Amen. I didn't hear you. The Lord will heal your land. Amen. If your amen can accept it, shout it better. Amen. The Lord said, I will heal. If you can humble pray, humble pray. At this time of season, is the time you must be careful. Maybe if you're a member of this church and you do business. You see, in this time of prayer season, for these 21 days, if you go to your business, please, please, this is not the time to start discussing with your shopmate. Uh, sh sorry, shop neighbor. This is not the time for you to start unnecessary argument. Talking about football, Chelsea, mind you. Talking about uh, what again? Asking about uh, that woman. She's been a wife of the other man. The way they take, the kind of dress, the way they wear this stuff. My, my brother, sister, concentrate. Once you finish with customer, carry your Bible inside. Read inside. Pray. Once it is five o'clock, close that shop and run down to this place. Make sure you're here before six. Every day to pray and communion with God. Tell him that I shall not die. Let me tell you, if you die, you can't go back to that business. If you die, you can't go back to the office. If you die, no hope for you in building. So a time of communion with God, a time of communicating with God, a time God say humble and pray is now. Seek his face where he might be found. Tell him, I will not spend my money in the hospital. Tell him, can't you see? From January to December, you don't go laying down in the hospital. I saw a man dead for yesterday crying, saying, I've, I am still in the hospital, pray for me. He said, because I've done the first surgery, I've done the second surgery, and what they told me now that will make it the third one, I hope I will survive from it. But if you look at your life, from January to December, you are not even a praying type. You don't even do things of God like that. But his mercy have already found you at the beginning of the year. Child of God, humble yourself and pray. Nam imela. Chukwo kike imela o. Nam imela o. Ah, giddy mumma. Nam imela. Chukwo kike imela. One more time. Nami Namibela. 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 Humble yourself, I pray. Death will not be close to you. Humble yourself, I pray. Sicknesses will not be close to you. I was watching the five-year-old girl that was killed in the north. I couldn't look at the picture. I just passed it by fire by force. I saw the breaking news on TV. I couldn't look at it. I just closed my eyes and began to... Because whenever you see such thing, the first thing that comes to your mind is your own child. May we never share tears this year. Amen. May you and your family never cry uncontrollable. Amen. If your amen is your answer, shout it and God will confirm. Say amen. I was, I, was, I was looking at uh, uh, the, the, the judgment, uh, uh, the report police brought concerning this Donwin, uh, is it Donwin or whatever, the secondary school that 
don't, uh, don't, don't win. The, the secondary school, right? The boy died. Look at the police report. And look at the medical report. They said the boy was not killed. And everybody knows that report does not make sense. Everybody knows that report does not make sense. Is that correct? Because number one, with the video evidence everybody saw, the mouth got peeled. The boy was shouting chest. Everything looks horrible. The guy, somebody cannot sleep and wake up. The mouth will peel. Everything, there was, there was something wrong. Now, what am I saying? Now, no matter what happened, the other people looks like those they have begin to exonerate, correct? But the person that lost the child, the child is automatically gone. May evil never befall you this year. Amen. Hey. Oh. We are put a Jesus. I know Lord. I also go see Rajos. I call a Jesus. Netiti I. See why on a Sibia to Concagabunani on the Obi I Gabuni Keke. Oh, Jesus, no more. Ebi, Ebi, I, I, Nogide, Zuko. Ima maya ga digi de no Digi de ru e me bi e bi e Ima maya ga digi de Ha! O ga digi de ru e me bi e bi Wane me Ima maya ga digi de Digi de ru e me bi e bi e bi during that I think last day, December the story of the 17 children that went to school in the morning they say mommy I'm going to school daddy I'm going to school some people were dropped by their parents suddenly in the afternoon they say come and carry your children dead body if you know why you must pray if you know why, you must dedicate the year before him. Let nothing take your time. Let God take your time. Be a good day, Jesus. Ano lodo. Iga boso. Ano lodo. May I pray for somebody that can shout amen. This year. Ha. Oh. This year. This year. You will never cry a cry of shame. Amen. Did I say something? This year you will never cry a cry of shame. Amen. 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 I feel something in my spirit. I pray for somebody. I pray for you. This journey of the mountain will not be in vain. Amen. You see, because you are alive, this is a covenant prayer now. Because you are alive to begin the 21 days, you will be alive to begin the 21 days of 2023. Amen. Sealed and settled in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> Uh, it's around 34:28. Father, come, son, come, Holy Spirit, come and take your place in my life. Exodus 34:28. Yes, sir. 
And he was there with the Lord 40 uh, days and 40 nights. And I was there with him 30, 40 days and 40. Are you ready to be with him for 21 days? Night is not involved. Day. Because some of you, me, I will be doing night, oh, but some of you might not be able to do night. So better do the day and sleep. So that you won't say because you were doing day and night. He did neither eat bread nor drink water. I did not eat bread or drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. 39? No. And he was there with me 40 days and 40 nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant. The Ten Commandment. My prayer for you is that as you pray and remain with him for 21 days, may he reveal to you what is very most important to you. Amen. He said, I was there with him. I was there before him for 40 days and 40 nights. He then wrote in the table, child. <laughs> oh, God, oh, Moto. He just wrote on the table the Ten Commandments. That prayer you're believing God for. That testimony you're believing God for. As you're running with him in these 21 days, it will appear to write it in the table that I've given you victory. I've given you good health. I've given you long life. I've given you financial breakthrough. I've given you expansion. I've given you marital breakthrough. I've given you growth. I've given you protection. That these things shall I do unto you this year. May God write it unto you as he wrote unto Moses. Amen. That's a prayer. I don't know how many people that are ready. The effects of fasting and prayers. The effects of fasting and prayers. Make sure that nothing delays you. Every day I will be here. 5 p.m. I'm here. We'll be shouting it unto God. Rounding up the prayer daily. For the 21 days. On 11th of February, we are going to be here the first Friday night to open the night prayer of the year. We are going to dance, invite people. There's something the Lord showed me yesterday. Was it yesterday? This year, we are no longer going to only covenant with water. You're going to buy a stick of candle. The Lord said to me, I will lighten thy people. He said, and I will show them mercy. Get me a candle and I will prove it to you. It's going to be a power night. Let, let, me, let me say something. We don't serve a dead God. We serve a living God. We serve a revelational God. Whatever you show, we do. I don't care what people say. I care what God says to me. And the light will shine upon you. And that breakthrough shall be your evidence. If you shall amen, let it be unto you. On that covenant night, be ready. But from tomorrow, let us come to pray. Don't miss Sundays because Sundays is like rounding up the weekly prayers. And God will bless you. Lift up your hands. Thank you, Abba Father. Your children are ready. Give us the strength. Uplift our life, our ministries, Amen. our joy, Amen. our marriages, Amen. our health, Amen. our businesses, Amen. our finances. Amen. Give us greater grace. Amen. Moreover, give us life Amen. that no soul shall be lost. In the name of Jesus, that this year, victory shall be for us. Amen. Glory shall return to you. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. The level your club, the level your testimony. Amen.